South Africa was one of the first places the Omicron variant was identified. The country still has a problem with coronavirus, but scientists say an aggressive vaccination campaign has curbed the impact of Omicron. And while another variant may still emerge, South Africans are already returning to a more normal life. David McKenzie reports. Even in the height of Omicron, no one was in this ward for COVID. That's quite correct. When the Omicron variant was discovered in South Africa, Dr. Richard Friedland prepared his hospital for a rush of COVID-19 patients. A rush that never came. We never stopped elective surgery. Uh, we never closed our coffee shops. We never stopped visitors coming into the hospital. Whoa. This after three brutal waves of COVID, each more severe than the last, pummeled this country. And then we're gonna give you some medication on. Charities built field wards just to cope. This is a, a hospital of over 440 beds and 80% of our beds were dedicated to COVID patients. But when the highly transmissible Omicron variant hit, Friedland says hospitals and deaths decoupled from spiking infections. I think in the fourth wave, we've seen a totally different picture. In fact, we've seen a far more milder and moderate version uh, of COVID-19. As the wave eases off in South Africa of Omicron, what comes next? Globally, we've really got to try to find the sweet spot. And by that, I mean trying to find a way that societies can begin to function again normally. In Soweto's Vilakazi Street, South Africans aren't just functioning, they're thriving. Well, I am very excited because I'm still alive. Scientists here believe that the high levels of prior infection and substantial vaccination rates, around 40% of adults are fully vaccinated, significantly softened Omicron's impact. Early indications are that the variant itself may be less deadly. How do you feel about this year? I think now it's going to be better now. Uh, probably COVID is ending. Are people being overly optimistic about where we are right now? Certainly that's a scenario that we can potentially contemplate, but equally on the other side of the spectrum is a scenario that says this variant is replaced by something far more virulent. A year after our first visit to his Biosafety Level 3 lab in Durban, Alex Siegel and his team are still working to answer those critical questions. It just goes like wildfire, uh, but it's not it doesn't cause as severe of a disease. Their latest research shows that in a lab setting, Omicron infections can protect against the more virulent Delta variant. Siegel says vaccines are still critical to avoid severe illness and death. In a year's time from now, what kind of discussion do you think we'll be having about COVID? There's a good chance we'll be standing here and discussing the next variant. And maybe the virus is gonna surprise us again but in my opinion, we know more now than we did a year ago. And in a year's time, we'll be in, in even better shape. Scientists just don't know if Omicron is COVID-19's endgame. But many do hope, like all of us, that the worst is behind us, not in front. David McKenzie, CNN, Durban, South Africa. And back in Indiana, state health officials don't update COVID numbers over the weekend, but on Friday, it was another record day of new cases. That means that Indiana has counted more than a quarter million new cases just this month. Now the CDC is saying your best bet at avoiding serious illness from the variant is getting your booster shot. And let's take a closer look at who's eligible for each booster shot. We'll start with the two preferred vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna. Pfizer's booster is the only one available for kids 12 to 17. You should get it five months after your second shot. Moderna's is also available for anyone 18 and older and should also be given five months after your second shot. And remember, you can mix and match boosters. So if you got Pfizer for the vaccine, you can get Moderna for the booster and vice versa. As far as the Johnson and Johnson booster, it is only available for people 18 and up and should be taken two months after the single dose. But the CDC recommends getting the Pfizer or Moderna booster instead. 